We arrived in Roma! I'm pretty with my pajamas on after that trapazza in Firenze. Guys, there was a delay at the train station. Somebody lit a fire on the main line. Trains were delayed for hours. We were so lucky to just hop on literally the next train and we were able to get out of there only about two hours later. I'm so happy to be in Rome, guys. If anyone ever says, why do you keep coming to Rome? I'm just gonna say, because it's my favorite city it in the is world. The best. There is the best no city. place like Rome. I'm sorry. Even We're... just to start with, just talking to the cab driver, I just, I love you, Romani. So I'm happy to be here. We're going to relax and then freshen up and probably go to Trastevere to eat. I feel like we're in our like comfort zone element. Right here. We're in our element. Yeah. I said every time I'm here, Roma I have a perma smile Roma. on my face. I look yeah. like I'm like drunk in love, There's but no I'm just in like love Rome. with this Rome city. Rome is our favorite city, <laughs> yeah. and it's worth it. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth it's it. Worth it. <laughs> so now, right now, we are on our way to Tonarello, I believe, unless it's too busy for Novella Carbonara. Because on honestly, I didn't know I was craving pasta. And our cab driver, we were talking about pasta so with him. He's talking about how to make aglio olio pepperoncino. I, I, I was saying, oh my god, this guy literally made me want pasta. Yeah, I didn't even realize. We didn't even know we were craving pasta. We're going yeah. for pasta tonight. So we're going for Novella Carbonara. Woo, the bancarellis are open in Trastevere. Lungo Tevere is right there, and you can have some nice drinks, you can go to some cute shops, so we're going to go there after dinner. We're here at Tonarello and we're very excited. I convinced Jeff to get a carbonara. I said, you don't come to Rome and not get a carbonara. Oh, do you do? Guys, I can't wait to dig in. Let's give you a little fork twirl. Oh my god! My mom got the pesto, and you know what, guys? The pesto is actually delicious here. So we're back at Zoom, and I'm getting my amaretta and marsala tiramisu. We're gonna share a little so something sweet after dinner, guys, after that amazing meal. What is we're that back here in Piazza Navona, and this that? is like, it's me and Lee were just here, so it just feels yeah. like home. I like, wasn't. literally. I was here last year. Jan wasn't with us. We thought, you know, since we together. were here for 10 days, we'll do Rome a little bit shorter. Uh, now I'm Rome. regretting kind it. Of regret we love that. Rome. Why? Wish we had so the same amount of time in Florence as we did in Rome. Yeah, we, we only have we only shit. have like three nights here. Yeah. yeah, that's not enough. I wish we had five and three nights in Florence. That yeah, me too. Perfect. That would have been ideal. Yeah. No matter how many times I come to Rome, it's not enough. No, no. Rome's the best. It's the best. Good morning. We are leaving our Airbnb and now it's time to go for a nice breakfast. I'm wearing this light and breezy red dress and I feel so fresh because it is hot out. Oh, they're so hot and cute. Hi. <laughs> One guess where we're going for breakfast, guys. Where do we always go when we're in Rome? Rosoli. <laughs> we want that cornetto con crema. cafe. We're gonna have a nice cappuccino. They have delicious cappuccinos there, so I can't wait. I'm so excited. And breakfast is honestly one of my favorite meals of the day. And I'm a sweet person, so for breakfast, I like a coffee and like a dessert, so I fit right in. <laughs> cappuccino, cornetto, and a pasticcera con la crema. This looks delicious. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I think I found my new favorite thing for breakfast. This is la pasticcera con la crema, and it is like heavenly. It literally melts in your mouth. It's so good. So good. And you guys got your cornetti. That's amazing. Oh man, the cream. This cappuccino is the best breakfast. Yeah. I taught Jenna, and now she can't stop saying that. Now this is my new word. We're at the Pantheon again. It is literally not even a five-minute walk from Piazza Navona. This is. Piazza della Rotonda because this is like a round piazza <laughs> and piazza means square. You would think that in July it would be more like full of tourists but I honestly feel like because it is so hot in May it was more it was actually worse in May. In July nobody wants to come here because it's just way too hot. The Pantheon there was no line to get in this time and last time when we came in May there actually was a line so it's pretty interesting how things uh, are different than I thought they'd be. <laughs> Look at these Roman streets. We have arrived. It's a little bit less busy than I remember. La Fontana di Trevi. Let's go down and see it. We have arrived! La Fontana di Trevi! We're here in We are going to throw a coin in because if you throw a coin in, this ensures that you come back to Rome. And I've always thrown one in and I'm not going to stop. Ready? One, two, three. Happy 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 
few people there, maybe because it was so hot. <laughs> but I honestly think that it was worse in May. There were so many tourists. Yeah, Remember, we couldn't even like stop and around. take a picture there. So it was actually super exciting that we got to take a couple of nice pictures and we actually got to throw our coin in. You need to come and throw a coin in at the Trevi Fountain because it's worked for me. I've come back every time I've done that. So <laughs> throw a coin in and make a wish to return to Rome. is precious guys so we just went into that Galleria Alberto Sordi which is right across from Piazza Colonna so there you can go and get a nice gelato from Giolitti and here you can find some air conditioning a break from the hot city guys it is so hot I think it's like 36 degrees today so we're sweating and straight ahead is the Spanish steps Piazza de España and I've never seen so few people on the actual steps how pretty the Spanish steps and actually you're not allowed to sit on the stairs anymore even though it would be too hot it would probably burn your butt but it's a new rule so now every time you hear a whistle it's because somebody's sitting and you actually have to stand which is probably why it's so nice to take a picture now <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about that so we'll see how long that lasts that's yeah. in España, where you can no longer sit on the steps, but I think Yay. no. My mom thought that was a good idea. I don't know. It, it it's could kind be of good. weird. It's it's a idea. Weird. Weird. It's good, but yeah. I just want to get that shot because yeah. there's less people in your way. Lunch yeah. on here. I feel like you should be. Able you to should yeah. be able to. It's part of the cute experience. See how long this rule lasts. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I, I don't think anyone would have sat in the sun because no, no, it's hot. It is hot today. Probably feels like 40. Yeah. You just need to keep hopping. See, do you hear the whistle? The <laughs> Doing a little makeshift lunch, I guess you could say. Stracchino di nonno e nonni. Stracchino di nonno e nonni. This is the brand you gotta get if you come. Yes, we love this stracchino. So good. You probably have seen me in my past vlogs eating it. These beautiful mozzarella di bufala balls. Le di mozzarella. Le palle. Then we got some fresh tomatoes. We got pesto. Pomodori secchi. Pomodori secchi. Guys, look at that. Look at oh that. Gosh, the look. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at that. Mozzarella di bufala. Wow. Do you have forks and stuff? Guys, this is from yeah. the Carrefour on Via del Governo Vecchio and it's some of our favorite mozzarella, I have to say. Guys, you gotta try this. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. We are off to our favorite restaurant, Da Enzo al Ventino Ventre Stevere. Woo! For Woo! once in our lives, we actually have We're Renzo's. So excited. Yes, I yes, I made Renzo's in Toronto. We made it like a month before. We don't before. have to worry, because usually we'd be like running there at like six o'clock, because they open at 7.30. To so. get in line early. And then you'd still have to wait. <laughs> So, so definitely make Rezzos guys. Hopefully yes. it works and like Hopefully. And actually our Rezzos are there. So we'll see. Mom's yeah. excited. She's gonna have a nice cacio e pepe. <laughs> Josh. Josh. It's my best friend Giordano Bruno. It wouldn't be a wrong vlog unless Lisa vlogged about Signor Giordano Bruno. It's her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Jen makes fun of me because she says that every Rome vlog I always point out Giordano Bruno But I love him, it's my favorite statue so. <laughs> Guys that was Giordano Bruno We are walking along Lungo Tevere to get to Da Enzo It is in Trastevere but it's a little bit further out So you just keep walking along the Tevere until you get to that area Of course guys using maps is always a good thing But now at this point we remember where it is off by heart <laughs> We're eating our nice burrata. We got two for the yeah. table. Dig in. Mm. Oh, I love these tomatoes too. So good. We are having such a delicious dinner, guys. It's tradition to eat here every time we come to Rome. Oh my god, we're, sh we're sharing the burrata. It's delicious. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes, yes. Show us what it's made of. <laughs> Shows what you're made of. <laughs> How is that? So this burrata is from Bari. And you can tell. Yeah, that's it where they're like, known for their guys, burrata. It's like eating cream, it's so good. And this yeah. is the best burrata. Heavenly. It's more like a sriracha but it's so good. Yeah, it's delicious. We are back in our stomping grounds. That I'm so. I got the fettuccine with cozze and vongole, mussels and clams, and it looks so good. Last time I had this with gnocchi, now I have it with this, and everybody else got cacio e pepe. But you guys can, of course, all dig into mine, it's huge, wow. So let us try the carbonara, guys. So now we're having everything, cacio e pepe, carbonara, a nice fettuccine that they made in-house. 
Fat in casa, so good. <laughs> this is my favorite mousse. It's a mascarpone mousse with fragolina wild strawberries. I get this every time, guys. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> La dolce lisa veramente. Wow. Veramente. Look at that. These wild strawberries are the best. Mm -hmm. Ciao Toronto. <laughs> These are the great people from Dianzo, Ventino. Cacio e pepe si. e le fettuccine. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Tu sei già su YouTube. Io? Si? Io. Lei. 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 Guys, we had another delicious meal at Da Enzo. We ate really well there. We ate Da Paura. That's what you say in Rome when you've eaten very well and something was delicious. So good, it's scary. Da Paura. And I just have to say that not only is the food good, but the staff is amazing. Everyone who works there is literally so sweet. We've had so many different waiters now and wait staff, and they're honestly all so sweet. resist my zabaione and cioccolato riso. Mom got one too and so did Jules her pistacchio. Rigotta. Delish. Okay, I'm full but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, these cappuccinos, wow. This delicious piece. Yeah, they look really good. Okay. We just had breakfast at our Rusholi Cafe. It was a delicious breakfast. It's, it's our, our last lips together. I read lips there. They were all out of cornetti, but it's okay because they have delicious. Anything else is delicious. Just buy something that looks good and just get it because yeah, everything honestly, is there. Yeah, you can't go wrong. And yeah. we literally just finished our cornetto and cappuccino, but because we're leaving tomorrow, we're going to Forno Rocelli. Yeah. And <laughs> get a nice pizza. Get a pizza. <laughs> we're going to all have a bite. Yeah, so and we're actually oh. crazy. <laughs> Guys, one more day in Rome. Ci voleva proprio, no? Yeah. Ci voleva anche più. Nice burrata pesto pizza al taglio from Rosholi. Mm. Well it doesn't get any fresher or better than this. It's mm. so good. So good. Mm. And I should also say that we literally just had breakfast, guys, and we went right to pizza because it is our last day in Rome, so we're just gonna go big. Go big and then go home. <laughs> Hello, we are in Piazza Venezia. This is the Altare della Patria, or as i Romani like to say, in Vittoriano. And this is almost like the center of Rome because you have the Colosseum this way, Via del Corso, the Spanish steps, all those things the other way. So this is a good meeting place. It's honestly one of my favorite buildings because it's so big and gorgeous, but the beauty is really on the outside and it's really nice to walk all around it. When you're not sweating, guys, I'm sweating buckets here, so we're gonna get under the sun and just keep walking around and exploring our last day in Rome.
sambrigata cakes. So we just went to Bocione and we got a sambrigata cake to take home for breakfast like tomorrow favorite. since we're leaving. I got ricotta e chocolate. Which ricotta is my chocolate and ricotta ciliegia cherry are the two best cakes from there. Highly recommended. They're delicious. It's a secret guys. recipe. It's a secret recipe. I said these ladies were offered money for the recipe. They would not share. So we're so excited. We're so happy. And we found some tourists who looked confused. So we just told them it was worth it. <laughs> we, yeah. said, we told them what to get. The ricotta yeah. one with cherry yeah. chocolate. You can't go wrong. Can't wait for breakfast tomorrow, even though it means we're leaving. <laughs> you can see there is the bakery, guys. There's no indication saying it's butcher, and it literally just looks like that. So. <laughs> So it's very interesting, an interesting little bakery, kind of hidden, but it's called Bocce on it. So I got Chocolato Arancha, which is chocolate orange, and Malaga, which has, it's basically like a rum and raisin. It's really good, so I'm very excited. So we just went to Frigidarium per un bel gelato because we're just getting as many gelatos as we can mm. until we leave. <laughs> so, good. so good. There we go. We have one minute with the Caravaggio. Thank you. So we came back to the church with the Caravaggio. It's so pretty in here. Love it. One of my favorite churches in Rome. I'm honestly obsessed with this church. And the ceiling is like amazing. Flash. The buffetto. We got our nice, beautiful pizza. This one is with mushrooms and onions, funghi e cipolla. Mmm, looks delish. Ciao! Siamo al Colosseo. We are at the Colosseum, the most important monument in all of Rome, arguably, and it's so gorgeous here. And we're here at the magic hour because we're about to get a little aperitivo, a nice little drink. But we decided to take a couple pictures before because this is the day, why not? So we're so happy to be here and end our last night in Rome by the Colosseum. Our we last decided to night. save the best for last. We right? did. We're so sad that we're leaving Our Rome last tomorrow. night in Rome? You have Never to enough come time. to the Colosseum if you're in Rome, of course. Of course. Nothing like it. No matter how many times you see it, it's just like breathtaking. It still gives me goosebumps every yeah. time I see it. This is the one monument where I'm like, it is just as epic as I imagined it in my head before yeah. seeing it. And it's it, kind of funny just driving here, you know, traffic on the side of the road and then there's the Colosseum, Colosseum on the so side. Like, no, but, you know, it's crazy. no big deal. <laughs> We're so sad so, to be leaving. I'm we sad really it's our last wish night. we had more time. But we here. had a great trip. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for following along. With yeah. Us. Hope you guys liked our little Italian summer together. But there's more mom. to come. Yes. So stay tuned. Having trouble deciding on my drinks here. I think everyone's gonna get the classic spritz, but I want to try something different. So we'll see. Hi, we are at the Court Rome. This is a very new um, cocktail bar, I guess, that just opened up in this hotel here. The Coliseum is right there. We decided to give it a try for our last night. So we all ordered a spritz, except for me, who actually got something different. I can't remember the name, but I'll try to insert it here if I can figure it out. I ordered the Caprina Highball in case I forget later. And look where I am. Can't go wrong with this view. <laughs> but I'm very excited, so it's a nice way to end our trip. Last year we did Boromini, so we went to do a different terrace this time, and this was a new place that opened up, so why not? The court. That they have a very cool mixologist, so they have a lot of very cool drinks. So, very cool, very trendy, chic new place to try with an amazing view. They don't take reservations for less than six people, so if you are less than six people, you just have to show up. So it is our last night, and honestly, I didn't think that we would get into the spot, and I'm very happy we did because the view is actually truly gorgeous. So if you want a beautiful view of the Colosseum, definitely come here. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Okay. 
this, a smoked fish, there's the aperitivo, and there's the bread. So cute! Nobody likes this little fish, so I get to eat it all for myself. So welcome, yes, <laughs> in the court. This is the, the new bar, the new Roman bar. Si. With the killer view of the court. Yes, wow, yes. look at this view. It's the gym of the gladiators. Wow, see? Si? Yes, here. Very so interesting. All this space si. uh, was used uh, by the gladiators. Wow. To, to make training and also to make their warm up before to go in the Colosseum. Wow. Yes. And the other side uh, was for the beast. Yeah. When this kind of uh, show uh, appeared in Rome, was a time, so was not a fantastic time for the for the folk. Uh, so the yeah. government uh, to to cover a little bit the situation, offered for free to the Roman people the fantastic show uh, of the gladiators wow. inside the cross. So the okay. people enjoy. They were very happy. Sweet, sweet. And they totally forget the economic situation. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's the story. Wow. Grazie. Grazie. Beautiful. So you saw Matteo explain a little bit of the gladiator situation here, which was so interesting. So Guys, he's honestly so sweet. Uh, we have some little cookies here. Matteo has been amazing, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. They gave us another round of these drinks. I can't believe it. They're so sweet. That was very nice of them. They're laughing at me because my drink was too strong. I could barely finish mine. I <laughs> have another one. That was so sweet. I love it here. The drinks, they make really good drinks. Very strong, very good. We're already like, we have to wake up and get catch a plane in the morning. I don't know. But... <laughs> She's got to finish. Come on, drink up buttercup. It's stronger than alcohol, okay? I know, eh? isn't it? It actually is. Wow. <laughs> and I already almost done mine. Cheers, Julie. <laughs> Cheers. There's my tail. This is Lisa's. Hi guys. Ciao. Hi guys. 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 I said too bad he's so young. Otherwise. I fall in love for you. Get that look and say. Lisa found her new boyfriend. Yes. Okay. Aww. My new boyfriend. <laughs> Our best friend Paolo. Come on, Daniel. You're the best friend. You're the best friend. Our best friend. Ciao, ciao. E tanta roba. E tanta roba. Tutte e tre siete tanta roba. Tanta roba. We're so sad because we love Rome so much. We're a little bit love, which means that. Why didn't we stay in Rome though? We just want to say thank you to uh, Matteo, Emanuele, Matteo, Paolo, and Emanuele. He was such a they sweet They were so nice at, so at, 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 uh, at the court. court. At the court. court. They were so, so nice. They, they made you feel at home there, experience. really. Matteo and Emanuele, Roma, sei sempre nel mio cuore. Yes. Arrivederci. We love you. Until Until night night time. Time. Como, Firenze, everything was beautiful. Everything, guys, believe me, is beautiful. Guys, but Rome is just... wrong in Italy. There's just something about but we it. Have have our our Rome yeah, is our, 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 our city. You can have your city, but Rome is ours. <laughs> <laughs>